Hey, welcome back to the channel. I am really glad you're here because today I want to talk about front end loaders. Specifically, I want to talk about buckets and other attachments that you can use for your front end loader. Now, if you're a first time tractor owner or if you're looking to purchase a tractor for the first time, you might appreciate this information, so stick around. When you go to purchase a new tractor with a front end loader, you're going to be given probably a couple different options. One of them is to have what's called a pin-on bucket. And essentially what that means is that bucket is mounted to the front end loader and it's really not made to be removed or to be used with any other pieces of equipment or attachments. Now, if you're buying a tractor for a single purpose and you know without a doubt that all you're ever gonna do is use that bucket, maybe you have a grain operation or something where all you're doing all day long is scooping material into that bucket and you know you'll never want anything else, then maybe the pin-on bucket is okay for you. But for most of us, we buy a tractor because it's a very universal piece of equipment and you're gonna to wanna to buy different attachments going forward. So the pin-on bucket is often regretted by many people after they get it. Like Adam here from the Hacksman channel. I bought this tractor, uh, the Kubota B2301 about a year ago and I freaking love this thing. But there's one thing about it that I've grown to hate and it was a huge mistake that I made whenever I purchased this tractor. It has the pinned on bucket. Now there are only two other types of bucket attachments that I'm aware of, there may be more, but one is that John Deere has a proprietary quick attach system. It works really well, but it's made again specifically for John Deere. So that kind of limits what you're able to get in the way of attachments or it limits the, maybe the availability because you have to buy those attachments that are made specifically to work with that John Deere system. They don't have to be John Deere manufactured attachments, but they have to be made to fit that system. The other option is the SSQA, which is the skid steer quick attach, and that is used by a vast number of manufacturers. It's almost standard in the industry at this point, and that's what I have here on my Kubota, and I wanna show you how that system works, because more than likely, unless you buy a John Deere, you're gonna have a, 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 you're gonna have a Unless you buy a John Deere, you're likely gonna end up with a skid steer quick attach system. So let's take a look at how it works. I'm gonna start by removing the bucket. And what you wanna do is make sure the bucket is down almost to the ground level. You wanna also have it curled back slightly. You don't wanna have it leaning forward. You wanna have it rolled back just a little bit. So it's rolled back and I'm gonna pull these levers up. and that releases pins on the bottom. Now I'll be able to set the bucket down and pull the bottom away and back away. And then I'll show you how the system actually works. If we look here at the bucket now that it's been removed from the tractor, it's a very simple system. You've got a, an angled edge here and the top of the SSQA just basically goes up into this edge and it hangs from the SSQA. Then here on the bottom, you've got this big opening here and when you lock those levers, there's a pin that drops down into that hole in the bottom and that locks everything in place. So let's look at the receiver end on the tractor. This is the front of the receiver and the bucket or the attachment hangs from the top here. And that hole I showed you on the bottom now is at the bottom here. And when I pull this lever down, it simply drives this pin into that hole. Let's take a look at that from behind. So the lever just has a mechanism that pushes that pin down through the bottom. And that's all it takes to lock it in place. Now, these systems are not foolproof. They work really well, but there are a couple of things you need to be aware of. Most importantly, when you move up to your bucket or your attachment, it's critical that you ensure that both ends are hanging from the top of the bucket here. There are times when someone will hook up to the bucket and they will think that they're hooked up, but it's only hanging from one side. And what happens is when they go to curl their bucket, they actually rack the system. Uh, so again, not foolproof, but you have to pay attention to what you're doing when you hook them up. Now, 
The beauty of this, again, is that it's so easy to change attachments. Let's go over and hook up the pallet forks. Now when you approach your attachment, you want to come in with the front tilted forward. You can see it's on an angle tilted forward. That way we can hook right underneath that lip there. Pick up, making sure that both sides are connected. Then we can pick up, and then we roll back to get the bottom locked into place where it needs to be. And that's where I'll hop off and push the levers down. And that's it. Now buckets and pallet forks are probably the two most popular and most useful attachments you can get for your front end loader. But there are others, like for instance, my favorite attachment, as you all know, is my grapple. I love that grapple. Of course, you need a third function valve to attach it, but it is a super handy piece of equipment. I also have a stump bucket, which is a front end bucket that's a lot smaller, and I can use that for digging up small tree stumps, digging small trenches, super handy. So there are other attachments that you can get, and when you have the quick attach system, you'll find other things that you might want to buy. Now, if you have an older tractor or if you do happen to have a tractor with a pin-on bucket, there are some options you can get. You can get some clamp-on attachments, clamp-on pallet forks, clamp-on tow receiver. So there are things you can do. Not really the best thing to do because they can damage your bucket. They uh, have limited capacity compared to actual pallet forks, but you can get some more use out of your bucket if it is a pin-on. So don't be too sad if you have a pin-on bucket. But if you can change it, and a lot of times you can change it to a quick attach, go ahead and do that. You can check with other manufacturers. I'm pretty sure that uh, Tractor Mike has a plate that you can buy to replace your pin on with a quick attach. So look into that if you need to. I'll put links down below for some of these other channels or other products. But anyway, I just wanted to give you a basic overview of a quick attach and encourage you, if you have not bought a tractor yet, to not buy one unless it has a quick attach system. So that's all for today. I want to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed to the YouTube channel, I invite you to join us. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and I look forward to seeing you next time.